In this video, we're going to look at how we can work with polynomials when we're adding and subtracting in the same problem. As we do this, there's going to be a two-step process. First, we must distribute if needed. And by if needed, I mean distributing a plus doesn't change anything. It's not really needed, but distributing a minus or a negative or opposite sign makes a big difference. So distribute those negatives if needed, and then we will combine like terms. Let's take a look at some examples where we go through these two steps. First, distributing any negative signs or opposite signs or subtraction signs. They're all the same thing. And then combining like terms. In this problem, we've got the polynomial 2x minus 7. We subtract the polynomial 4x minus 6, and then we add the polynomial 5x plus 2. You'll notice there is a subtraction, negative or opposite sign in the middle, and so we're going to have to distribute that on that second polynomial. The other polynomial should stay the same, 2x minus 7, and then distributing the negative onto a positive 4x gives us negative 4x, and the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. And the other polynomial is going to stay the same because distributing a plus doesn't change anything, plus 5x plus 2. Pluses don't change anything, just the opposites or subtraction signs. Now all that's left is to combine like terms on the resulting expression. We have 2x, take 4x away, and add 5x to that gives us 3x. Finally, with the numbers, negative 7, we add 6 and add 2. Combining those like terms together gives us a positive 1. And so after combining all our like terms here, we have 3x plus 1 for our final solution. Let's try one more example. Again, in this problem, you'll see we are subtracting one of the polynomials. This time, it turns out to be the last polynomial. The plus in front of a polynomial won't change anything, so we'll copy everything up to that subtraction sign, that opposite sign, the same way. We have 4x squared minus 7 plus negative 5, well, we'll just write negative 5x, negative 3, and then distributing the negative through, the opposite of negative 2x squared, is positive 2x squared, and the opposite of 4x is minus 4x. We now have an expression we can go through and combine like terms. 4x squared plus 2x squared gives us a total of 6x squared. Let's do the x's next. The order doesn't matter, technically, so we'll do the negative 5x, and the negative 4x is negative 9x. And then finally, the numbers negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. No more like terms. We have our final solution. If we are adding and subtracting with polynomials, we first need to distribute any negatives and then simply combine like terms.